Sir, is there a story that uh, occurs to you to tell us now that seems uh, appropriate? So if I have to pick one story for the condition we're in in the world, which for me begins with the climate crisis, which is involving everything and everybody and all beings on the earth. And then if you drop down, you have the coronavirus pandemic, which is the humanitarian crisis that affects all people, or it can. And then here in the United States, when you drop down, you drop into the social justice crisis and Black Lives Matter. And those things are all connected and they're all happening at the same time, along with the crisis of truth and untruth and all that stuff. So how do you get a story to relate to that? So here's a Native American story told by several tribes in North America. It's pretty brief. And it begins with the idea that there's a cave. And inside that cave is all the knowledge that everybody's been looking for, but somehow no one goes to that cave. There's all kinds of roads and highways and everybody going back and forth 24 hours a day and no one finds that cave. But if you found the cave, inside the cave, there's an old woman. And she's weaving a garment, and she'd been weaving it for a long time, and it's the most beautiful garment anyone has ever seen. And she's down to the hem of the garment, and she wants to weave that out of porcupine quills. And in order to weave the quills in, she has to bite down on them. And she's been biting down on quills for so long, she's worn her teeth down to the gums, but still she keeps biting down and weaving on. And every once in a while, she has to go to the back of the cave where there's an ancient fire and hanging over that a cauldron. And in the cauldron are the seeds of all the plants and all the trees and all the fruits and all the grains. And if she doesn't once in a while stir the cauldron, all the seeds will burn and there won't be any plants and there won't be any grains or any flowers or any trees. And so she gets up and because she's old and working so hard, she moves slowly back towards the cauldron. And as she goes back towards the cauldron, the black dog, what black dog? The black dog goes over to where the garment is laying, waiting for her to return, and the black dog sees a loose thread, and it pulls on the thread, and it keeps pulling until it unravels the entire garment. And the old woman comes back, and she looks at the garment of beauty, now turned into chaos, all in disentangled, and for a moment she doesn't do anything. Then she sits down and she sees a loose thread and she picks up the thread and starts to weave. And as soon as she starts to weave, she gets an even more beautiful vision of the garment. And this is going to be an even more beautiful garment than the one before. And she's on her way weaving. So when they tell the story, the elders say this is a story to understand what's happening now. And then someone will say, damn that black dog. If it wasn't for the black dog, she would have finished the garment and it would have been perfect. And the elders say, the word perfect means over and done. It's connected to death. Be thankful for what unravels the world because the world unravels only to be re-woven out of threads. And then I say, we're like that old woman looking at the chaos that the world has become. And it isn't our job to fix it all or to kind of collapse into fear and worry. Um, it's our job to pick up a thread like she does. And now I switch to oh. an Irish myth, which says when the world falls apart, the pieces are laying in the margins, and our job is to pick up a piece from the margin uh -huh. and pull it back to the middle. And if everyone just brings their thread forward, we can reweave the garment of the world out of our individual threads, and no one has to be a hero. We all just have to be dedicated to weaving. Oh, wow. That's such a cool story. That's really beautifully told. I really, really love that. And <clears throat> also, it feels like that when you use arcane s communication systems and images like that, it reaches beyond our discrete, distinguishing and distant cultures. Me over here in England, you over there, presumably in California, I guess. And like, certain, like it brings us it brings us together like the black dog has a meaning that goes beyond the words black and the words dog uh, and, and, and the, the idea of the cave and the woman when you said that thing and the fire is at the back of the cave it made me think of um, you know the big bang singularity a point of unity that contains all necessary information and data the sort of fen f femininity of the elder seems important the cave I suppose from what I know of young me meaning going into the unconscious mind, being willing to drop beyond my own individual 
identity. The, I suppose as well, the black dog, you know, that brings about the chaos is part of us. My understanding, again, from Jungian analysis, that when trying to understand myth or dreams to look at each component as an aspect how, held within the individual, does, is that part of the, is that fair analysis? That's a good analysis. Um, and, and the simple little story has the three great movements of life on earth, which is to say creation, um, sustaining, that's what the fire and the seeds are about, sustaining nature and sustaining culture and nature connection, and then dissolution before it starts over again. So in mythology, the world can't end. The story of the given time can end, but the end, the word end doesn't mean finito, goodbye, all over. The word end is like loose end, and it means the remnant and from the loose end, as in the story, the world starts again. The old woman is a woman who weaves the world. You're right. It's a reference to the uh, mythological feminine, which is the source of all weaving, weaving and everything that's woven together, including the, the web of nature and all that is considered to be feminine in a lot of myths. It's also, there's a reference to Plato's cave in there. Um, and then the origin of art is deep in the caves of the earth where they found the oldest pieces of art in cave paintings which were actually part of the ritual of initiation where the young people were brought down inside the earth we are the children of the earth and they were brought in the dark and then the ones who were the elders or the, whatever they are the initiators the mentors suddenly light torches and all the young people see the cave with all the animals and the spirits painted and now they've been brought into the other world the underworld, the background world, and as you say, Jung's idea of the unconscious. And, and the unconscious is where everything we're needing to solve our problems is waiting to be found. So the cave references all that.